measurement fundamentals continued. We're going to look at the financial accounting fundamentals uh, that underlie measurement. And when we talk about measurement, it's how do we measure something and how do we value it. When we look at value, valuation is two different uh, perspectives. You can look at it from the buyer's perspective or the input market perspective. In other words, what's its original purchase price or its replacement cost? How much would it cost you to replace something uh, to buy it again, so to speak? And we know that this is pretty subjective because we can buy things on sale, uh, we can get a discount, we could get some special uh, credit terms, we might have a coupon, so that how much does it cost is sometimes a little squishy. The other point of view that you can take is the output market value. In other words, what is its present value? If I was the seller, what is the, the price today that I could sell it at? And that might be different from what a willing buyer is willing to pay for it. We can also look at the output market as far as its fair market value. In other words, in today's purchasing power, what is its value? Now, some terminology before we go forward in measuring the value is, one, we need to know what the original or historic cost is, and that's the price that's paid when it is purchased. In other words, that's that buyer input market perspective. Also, the lower of cost or market. Some assets we will value at the lower or the lesser of their original cost versus their replacement cost, whichever is lower. Other assets will value at their net realizable value. In other words, how much cash do we really expect to realize from them uh, when we ultimately collect? So, for example, accounts receivable, uh, yes, we've sold to customers, but we also know that not all of our customers are going to pay their bills. So the net realizable value um, backs out an estimate of the amount of customers we don't think are going to pay us. The net book value or net carrying value is the original cost of an asset, such as property, plant, and equipment, reduced by the amount that's been used or expired portion. So the net book value of, say, uh, equipment is the cost of the equipment less its accumulated depreciation. In other words, it's accumulated usage. And again, that's an estimate. The face amount of an asset is the, or a liability, is the value that's printed on the document. So when you get a bill, you know how much the bill is because it says so on the bill. You know what cash is worth because if you look at currency, it says so on it. Fair market value, in other words, its sales price, now we're shifting gears and looking at the output market value, is the amount at which an item can be sold or exchanged for cash. And the present value is the value, the value today of any item computed by discounting the future cash flows at an assumed interest rate that's reflective of the company's cost to camp capital. So in other words, we're looking at purchasing power when we look at present value. Now, in the United States, most of the time, we take a rules-based perspective on how do we value our assets and liabilities, our shareholders' equity, revenue, and expense, whereas abroad, using IFRS, International Financial Reporting Standards, their perspective is a bit more principles-based. In other words, what are you really trying to say here? Not following uh, a checklist of um, rules on how to do it. Uh, going forward, uh, let's look quickly at how we value things, not only on the, ba on the financial statements, but in particular on the balance sheet. And we know that original cost, or the historic cost, is used to value land and long-term investments. Lower of cost or market is used to value inventory whereas net realizable value is used for the 
net accounts receivable. Net book value or carrying value is used for property plant equipment and our intangibles. And as far as valuing cash or current liabilities, they're valued at their face. Whereas fair market value is what we use to value short-term investments, such as trading securities, marketable securities, those types of short-term investments. And present value is used when we're valuing long-term notes receivable and long-term uh, liabilities, such as a long-term note payable or a mortgage payable. So those are at their present value. So hopefully this is a quick view of what is the value and how to measure it.